Second Lady Karen Pence was in Holland and Grand Rapids today. It is another of the frequent campaign stops now for both major party tickets in our state. Political reporter Rick Albin was with Pence in Grand Rapids and is here now with part of what she had to say. Rick? Susan and Bryant's Karen Pence was the wife of, of course, the Vice President Mike Pence, and she was in full campaign mode when she spoke to a room full of mostly women midday in Grand Rapids. She told the group that the president had kept his campaign promises to women on a number of fronts, including tomorrow's Supreme Court announcement. She talked about recent social unrest and how important Michigan will be in the election. And ladies, tomorrow, tomorrow, yes, he plans to nominate a woman to the Supreme Court of the United States. Yes! How exciting is that? I am proud to say that this president has kept his pledge to the American women. Americans want law and order. We will always support the right of Americans to peacefully protest. And I've seen a few today. <laughs> we'll always support that. That's why my son is fighting with the U.S. Marines. He's fighting for our freedom to be able to protest. But rioting and looting is not peaceful protest. <laughs> President Trump and his administration will always stand with those who stand on the thin blue line. And this president will never support defunding the police. This is going to be a close race. We need Michigan. We need you, Michigan. It's come, come down to every vote, every dollar, every phone call, every knock on the door. Everything you do is going to affect this election. The Trump-Pence ticket won Michigan in 2016. It was the first time a Republican had taken the state in 28 years, the margin of about 10,000 votes. Both campaigns have zeroed in on the state this year, and the intensity of their campaigning is only like to, likely to increase in the next 39 days. Brian? All right, Rick Alvin, thank you.